Hi everybody and welcome to Stackstorm Tutorials. This tutorial is on advanced actions. In the last tutorial, we went over a few different actions. Each action called a different type of script. We called a bash script, a python script, and a node.js script. All of those scripts ran on the Stackstorm server itself. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to call scripts on remote machines. We'll also learn how to call Python scripts directly, and we'll learn how to send out an HTTP request. To get started, let's take a look at the actions we defined last time. For the echo action, we use the local shell command runner. For the other three actions, we use the local shell script runner, but the entry point for each was a different script. For the check bash version action, we called the check bash version.sh script. The Python and node actions also used the local shell script runner with slightly different entry points. All of the scripts ran on the Stackstorm server itself. However, Stackstorm can also run scripts on remote systems. Let's take a look at one. This action uses a slightly different runner. It uses the remote shell command runner. Let's take a look at it. The remote echo action takes the same parameters as the echo action, but the remote shell command runner itself takes an extra hosts parameter. Let's see that in action. Here the remote echo action takes the same message parameter as before, but the command was run on the st2 tutorials host. We can also run the same command on two different hosts. Here I'm running the action on both the st2 tutorials host and localhost. I'm specifying their host names as a comma separated list. The command is run twice. First, it's run on localhost, and second, it's run on st2 tutorials. In both cases, the standard out was hello world as expected. The action succeeded and standard error was empty. Now let's take a look at running a script on a remote system. This action, the check remote bash version action, checks the version of bash on a remote host. It uses the remote shell script runner and has the same entry point as the check bash version script. This runner also takes a hosts parameter. Let's see it in action. This action has run the same bash script on two different hosts, the st2 tutorials host and localhost. In both cases, it succeeded and the standard out was the same. Stackstorm can also run Python scripts directly with the Python script runner. Let's take a look at an action that uses the Python script runner. This action is the exact same as the check Python version action from the previous tutorial with two differences. This action uses the Python script runner instead of the local shell script runner. The entry point is also a slightly different Python script. Let's take a look at that. This Python script is specific to Stackstorm because it imports directly from st2 common. It defines a git version string function that accepts major, minor, and micro parameters. Similar to the action from the previous tutorial, it creates a version string, but instead of printing it to standard out, this function simply returns it. The script then defines a subclass of action. That class's run function accepts major and minor parameters and passes them to the get version string function that we defined before. The run function simply returns a dictionary of the version, major, minor, and micro keys. Let's see how that's different than the local shell script runner. 
as you can see, the result that was returned from the run function contains version, major, minor, and micro keys. Let's compare that to the result of the action from the previous tutorial. The previous action printed the version string to its standard out. Stackstorm can capture the standard out from any shell script, but for Python scripts, it can capture the entire Python return value. 